Connect. Hi. Oh, there you are. Sorry, sorry. let me plug in. Hi. Ah, hi. <laughs> sorry How I are you? Earlier. That's okay. How are For you? people who don't know, Nico missed our rehearsal at 7.30. <laughs> I did. Uh, this is what happens uh, when you when you take too many gummies. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun interview. <laughs> so... <laughs> No, how, how are, are you, you? How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. Just, I just live tweeted the um, the finale, and uh, it's Season so five. weird. Yeah, it's it's so weird watching it. It's um, I mean, I knew what was gonna happen, but even even I was just like, oh god, I can't believe it's uh. It's, it was the last uh, last episode of the season. Oh. Yes, but you were supposed to have another episode. It wasn't supposed to be the last episode, right? Oh, lights. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Much better. Um, yeah, we got sh we got uh, shut down. Production shut down. Um, like a week. Just uh, we we had one more episode left, and and they had to shut us down. Um, so, but I actually think it 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 works out. Uh, it worked out because it, it totally works. It, yeah, the the finale totally works this way, and in 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 and for a selfish reasons, I also like we get to have America back um, for the season six uh, opening uh, episode. So you know, oh, so so America's gonna come back for season six, even though season five is her last season. Yes, I mean we That's have to, we have to have a proper uh, send off for the fans. And 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 you know uh, and and uh, for the fans to have a uh, uh, have closure with 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 uh, Amy's character uh, with with uh, America's character Amy leaving, so she'll be back season six um, for for the for the beginning of, of that. Uh, so before we get more into into this the show, let's talk about quarantine being in lockdown. You wrote a very beautiful Instagram about your stepdad who yeah. um, sadly passed away because of COVID nineteen. What are you going to remember most about your stepdad? His laugh. Um, <laughs> it's, his, his, his laugh is the thing I, I remember the most. It's, uh, you know, he, he had just this loud, like, just boisterous, joyous laugh that was just, like, infectious. And, um, mm. you know, when he would, like, tell dad jokes and you would kind of, like, roll your eyes, and, <laughs> you know. Um, he was just like a great guy with a great personality and, uh, yeah. And how's your mom doing? She's good. She is fully recovered. Thank God. Wow. Wow. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're just, uh, trying to, um, you know, life goes on and we're trying to like, sort of like take care of, 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 of business as much as we can and, and, and what we need to take care of. Um, but you know, we, we still haven't, um, been to we, I haven't seen my mom yet, and I haven't been, I, I haven't seen my brother. So they're taking care of some of some stuff uh, in the Bay Area with regards to my stepfather's belongings and, right. and and stuff like that. And you know, and my mom, you know, is being really cautious. Like she, you know, doesn't want to get reinfected with the right. with the disease, and and you know, and she didn't want. I'm I'm in a high risk group. Uh, I'm immunocompromised and I have asthma, so I she was like, "Don't come up here." Um, so we haven't seen each other yet. So it's been, um, you know, like our our emotions and our feelings are kind of like on pause right now. <laughs> and, wow! Uh, and it's been hard to process anything because we haven't been together as a family yet. So, so what's it like to get a phone call from your mom or from your stepdad and says we both have COVID nineteen? What is going through your head? <laughs> I, I mean, like this entire thing. I mean, I mean, not just for for me and my family, for you, for for everybody. It's it's just been such a surreal experience. Nothing seems real with right. with any of this. Like it all seems like a crazy movie, and I'm I'm just ready for the credits to roll and for us to sort of like get to that happy ending part where we all get through this and right. it's better in the end. But nothing seems real, and it is like even. You know, for me, being separated, being down here and there, there in the Bay Area, like, and all I got was sort of like a play-by-play -play from my my brother, uh, who was sort of like dealing with 
uh, with the hospital and, and you know, and, uh, we were FaceTiming my mom and, and all that. Mm. And all we were hearing is like bits of information. And, right. and that's all I have. It's like this information that like my stepfather's sick, my stepfather's in the hospital, and then my stepfather passed. And it all happened so fast. Mm. Um, and there's, you know, it, it's, it's hard to process that when, when you can't be at the hospital, when I couldn't see him and right. I couldn't hold him, I couldn't hold my mom. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to process everything, so. That is surreal. I, I lost my dad many years ago, and I can't imagine. And I lost my dad, it was actually right, not long after 9-11, and I was in New York at the time, and when he was sick, I couldn't go out to Long Island because the city was on lockdown. Oh my God. You know, sort of similar in that way. And you said, um, you know, you're in a high risk group. What do you do? Are you just staying at home and just not, going anywhere like are you in a bubble what are you doing <laughs> exactly i've wrapped myself in <laughs> um i am um you know I'm, I'm quarantining here at home i um I'm, I'm here with my boyfriend which is great um to, to have him here i'm, I'm so uh, grateful and thankful that that he's here with me and, and i honestly probably wouldn't have survived these these past few weeks without him right um I, uh, I've just been at home. I, you know, I am an actor by trade. So I, for work, I am around a lot of people and I have to be on. So I actually don't mind the quarantine and the self isolation. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you don't want me, you don't, you, you want me to stay put, not talk to anybody. Right. I can do that. I can do that. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I maybe go on walks like every six days. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but like, I, Mark, honey, I'm like, I, I get, I get to like, I maybe go for a walk and like, after like, 10 minutes, I freak out. I'm just like, I gotta go back inside. Yeah. I, it's too much. It's, it it's all I can handle. <laughs> I, today, I, today I took a walk to CVS and I'm like walking to CVS. I'm like, should I go in CVS? Do I have the right gloves? Do I have the mask? It's just, it's surreal. And I don't, I don't know when we, gonna get used to this so-called new normal yeah and also like you, you, i um there's no rule book for 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 any of this and no. how how we're all supposed to be dealing with it so right i mean like i've been telling you know a lot of my friends too who are i've had other friends who have been who have relatives who are uh, who are sick as well and who are just having trouble you know with the with the quarantine and and I was like, it's it's okay to not be okay. Like, right. it's like deal with this however you need to deal with this. Right, right. There's, there's no there's no rule book about it. So, um, so what are you binging? What are you watching? What have you What have you watched? What have you loved? What have you haven't loved? Um, I, what we do in the shadows is my current obsession. Okay. I was a huge fan of the movie, but the series is incredible. Um, I, I just I love the cast. Uh, they, have, they obviously have a great ensemble cast. And when when I watch the show, it's this thing where I know for the superstar cast how how much we bonded, how much fun we have when mm -hmm. we're filming. And when I see that show, it just also looks like I'm like it looks like they're having fun. Like I know that <laughs> feeling because it you you can tell from from the episodes. Um, I just finished uh, Little Fires Everywhere. What did you think of that finale? <laughs> <laughs> I I I can't get that time back, Mark. I can't get that time back. Really? I, really? You know, there, there, were, there were some parts where I was like, this is so great. And some parts where I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> this the scene where Kerry Washington or Mia takes down Elena at the apartment door. When Elena goes to see her, I love that. I mean, I that, was screaming. That was that was great. That was great. I mean, any scene where somebody gets their comeuppance, I'm always like, <laughs> yes. Um, but there are there are some parts where I'm just like, what did I just watch? I was a little I was a little surprised. Uh, spoiler alert! If anyone's out there and you haven't watched it, I'm going to say it. Um, that the three kids were the ones who started the fire. I, I was so surprised. But apparently, I haven't read the book, but apparently in the book, it's only Izzy who started the fire. Really? That's what, what? someone told me. Yeah. Uh, okay. maybe, they, 
I want maybe, that version. Maybe they didn't want to make the one lesbian like the really bad lesbian who burns down the house. <laughs> <laughs> but they just should have. People are just people. I <laughs> people need to stop tiptoeing around like, oh, if you do it that way, then they're gonna <laughs> think that all lesbians start fires. No, audiences are smart. We're not stupid people. Like, we just need to like stick to the source. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I was very surprised at three of them. I just that I didn't believe. Um, have you watched Tiger King? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. So do you think Carol Baskin did it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that she did it. There's no way that she did it. <laughs> oh lord. How quickly did you watch Tiger King cuz I binged it in like one weekend. Yeah, we Zeke and I finished it in like, like yeah, like like two days, two three days. Yeah. Um, are you cooking? A lot of people are cooking during this lockdown. Are you a cook? Uh, I I do cook. Zeke is a much better cook than I am. So ninety nine percent of the cooking is his responsibility. But there have been a couple of times where I have cooked here. Um, and, How'd that go? Well, I, I'm actually a good. I'm actually a good cook. He's just mm -hmm. better at it than I am. So I'm like, you go do it. Um, so I made him some some chicken and pork adobo because he's he's uh, he's never had Filipino food, and that's my bad. I've never fed him Filipino food. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what else did I make? We're obsessed. Zeke and I are obsessed with the Bon Appetit videos. Oh, uh, you one of those? Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> so obsessed. So we, I made some. Uh, some moho meatballs that Molly Baz from Bon Appetit uh, made. So yeah, and they went up, they went over well. Yeah, they were they were delicious. <laughs> Shout out to Molly Baz. <laughs> um, so, are you in touch with the cast during all of this, or is sort of like everyone just taking a break and just waiting to hear when you could go back into production? Uh, we're in touch. Uh, you know, like uh, we've. Uh, uh, we've emailed uh, the the showrunners, uh, Gabe and Jonathan, have uh, have emailed us. Um, we've had a couple of Zoom calls um, with the cast, and we're constantly texting. Um, I mean, I I probably talk to Lauren and Coleco the most right. uh, out of the cast. Um, but yeah, we're we're kind of we're kind of just uh, all checking in on each other, making sure that. Uh, we all haven't gone crazy. So, <laughs> so let's talk America for our. This is well, was supposed to be. Final, final. Yeah, like yeah. you said, she's going to come back a little bit in season six. Um, how did you find out? Does she sit everyone down and say, hey, I got to go? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're like, she, she left me a post-it note. <laughs> and, uh, no, she, um, she, she, told, she, told us, uh, she told us individually um, before, you know, obviously the, the news broke. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it was it was very it was it was bittersweet to to uh to to, to sort of like have her leave because like right. you know we we're we're a family. I mean, we are like we we bonded right away from from day one when we filmed the pilot and um I don't know, it's just uh it's 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 not going to be the same without her. Um mm. but you know, we we were looking forward to sort of like continuing on um, with the world uh, of Cloud Nine and Superstore, and there's there's a lot more stories to tell. So we're really excited, especially now. You know, um, I hate to say it, but you know, now with with the current situation, um, you know, I mean, our show has always done really well with with tackling um, hot button issues yep. and, and current events and 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 current topics, and and now that you know, like. Uh, Essential, essential workers, like people who work at big box stores, are are, are really sort of like helping us yeah. save the day. Um, is is going to provide us with some some amazing uh, an amazing angle on season six. So I'm really looking forward to tackling that. Uh, do you think season. Do you think they'll bring in COVID nineteen? I hope so. I mean, that's going to be that's going to be a tricky. It's always tricky when right. you're when you're dealing with something. Uh, with a topic like that, how how do you integrate that um, in, in t into our show? But I mean, like, we need to. I mean, it's like we're. I mean, our our, our world is at the forefront of of that. Right. Of what's going on? So we 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 have to talk tackle it. 
can. And one of the other issues that you've tackled so well is your character, Mateo, was undocumented. Um, and now we have a president who has decided during all of this to issue <laughs> an order banning immigration for at least 60 days. Uh, um, what do you think when, like, it's almost like I remember when you did the storyline, I was like, are we almost, I mean, I knew we weren't past it because of the administration, but then you hear something like this on top of everything else, here's a president who decides, okay, I'm gonna stop immigration now. I'm just, you know what, here, here's the scary thing to me is that that the immigration part of, of what the president has said isn't even like the scariest thing he said in the past like two days. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing where he's like, you should be injecting whatever bleach or disinfectant. I'm just like, this is the president of the United States. I, I, I cannot, I cannot. And that's why I've taken multiple gummies today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got to ask you about the art on your wall behind you. What is that? Uh, oh, okay. Well, this is, okay. <laughs> this is, um, so Joey Chu, who is a friend of mine, is an incredible artist. Um, this is Storm from the X-Men riding a Tauntaun, holding a Hattori Hanzo sword from Kill Bill, and a gem, the holograms microphone with the USS Enterprise in the back. Um, so it's like a nerdgasm. But he also did this. I commissioned this. Huh? Um, and it is, um, can you see it? I don't know. I can see it. We can yeah. see it. The thing is, it's the cast. Yeah, it's the cast. <laughs> and I, um, I had that commissioned um, uh, during the first season, and I gave it a, uh, to the cast of the EPs as a gift. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. So you would, so this nerdgasm art here, are you a total nerd? Um, I would say that I'm nerd light. You're nerd, um, adjacent, you're nerd adjacent. I'm nerd adjacent, but like, I, like I've like i seen every episode of Star Trek Next Generation, but okay. I, don't own, I don't own a Star Trek costume. Like, no, but you only own artwork on your <laughs> wall that incorporates everything. Yes, but you know, like I would never like, and this is not a, this is not a, a judgment, but like, I, I just, I would never like don the costume and you right. know, like, but like, I, I've seen Star Trek Next Generation, like I'm a huge Star Trek guy, uh, collected comic books as a, as a kid, played Dungeons and Dragons and the lot. Yeah. Are you a Star Wars person too? More Star Trek than Star Wars. More Star Trek, okay. Yeah. yeah. Who's your favorite character? Um, Counselor Troy. Uh, from the next, from, the, uh, from next generation, and also Guinan, played by the incredible Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. I mean, anything she does, right? Yeah. So, if you could have someone guest star in Superstore next season, who do you want it to be? Oh my gosh! Um, you know, Nicole Bloom, who plays Cheyenne, has um, has always uh, has been suggesting, and she's been suggesting this for a really long time. Um, there's a, there's a, we've always made reference to this character named Corona, who is, uh, Cheyenne's best friend. I know. Wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait, I this is all mixed name. messaging. Okay. Corona. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then her name's Corona, but she wants, uh, Ariana Grande to play Corona. Okay. I give think... it the, right now, give the pitch. If, if I was Ariana Grande, what would you say? Okay. Um, Ariana, hi. You need to come to our show and play this character, Corona, because she's fabulous and gets into all this crazy shit. And frankly, I just want to have you on set so we can sing all day. Please. <laughs> I think she would do it. I think she would do it. I feel like that might happen. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, like, I, who else would I love? I mean, like, honestly, um, I think Leslie Jones would be really fun to, to have on the show. <laughs> I don't know who she, who she would play, but like, she's just so funny to me. I would love to have her, have her on. Whatever she wants to do, she's Leslie Jones. Yeah, I'm just like, just come on, come on the show. Yeah. So do you get self-conscious now going to big box stores? Like, do you go to the stores and like, are they gonna know who I am? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, it never fails. I mean, like if I do get recognized at a big box store, um, you know, some, somebody will always be like, you doing research, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I I love I love going to. Yeah, I I was never much of an online shopper until quarantine. Yes. Um, 
but I, I love I love going to Target. I love going to like any big box store. I'm I'm always one of those people who's like who's gonna go in for one thing but ends up leaving with like, you know, five hundred dollars worth of whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and I, of course I have to ask you about Crazy Rich Asians. I saw you tweeting up a storm. I think it was last night or last night. Like, yeah. Yes, it was um, great because like we were live tweeting. We were doing like a you know a, a Twitter watch party for the movie, and John Chu set up a, a Zoom call uh, so that we could like all like talk while we're tweeting and seeing the movie. So I, we were able to like uh, hang out through Zoom, and I hadn't seen. You know, some of my cast members in a while because like, some of them were like were in Singapore, some of them were in London. Wow! It was really, like it was really amazing to sort of like um, you know have them on Zoom and 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 see their faces again. So what what could you give me about what's happening with uh, Crazy Rich Asians number number two and number three? <laughs> Listen, we we all grilled John. We're like, is it happening? And there's some stuff that I can't tell you, but yes, I'm you can. Like, I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> It's just between you and me and the entirety of the variety. <laughs> um, I mean, they said it's a go. They said it's it's the, that they are they're they're still working on it, but they said we're doing it. So it's just a matter of when. But we've been mm -hmm. all assured that like they want to get the script right, you know, and uh, but we are going to do the the second movie. So I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that <laughs> that call. Well, Nico, this is uh, this is fun. I want to do this more with you. Please, anytime. It's so good to see you. It's good to. I, it's like we're seeing each other, but we're not seeing each other. It's just all I so know. strange. Well, well you take the next time I see you will be in person. But are, are we allowed to shake hands? Could we hug? I don't know. I mean, listen. I will put on a mask and gloves and hand you a bottle of hand sanitizer, and I will, I will have contact with you, and I will just rub myself with sanitizer to be safe you're amazing <laughs> you stay well be well you too um and hopefully i'll see you in person sooner than later let's hope let's hope okay i right. love bye. take care bye, bye.